And so now let's take a look at this problem that has to do with transformers. Okay, so now the saying is state of transformer increases the voltage of AC. AC supply from 110 volts to 220. So what is important in physics is you being able to collect data of what you, you are given. So if you're dealing with a step-up transformer, then you need to know that there must be more coils in the secondary coil. There must be more tens in the secondary coil than in the primary coil. So this one is the primary coil. That one is the secondary coil. Okay. So let's collect data. This is... Uh, the primary voltage. So say VP primary voltage is equal to 110 volts. Then secondary voltage is equal to 220 volts. Okay, so from here we can now look at um, the other pieces of information that have been given the saying saying the uh, the primary code dispatches a power of 1.1 kilowatts and the transformer as an efficiency of 100%. Yes. So if a transformer is 100% efficient, what it means is there is no energy lost. So primary power is equal to secondary power. So the, the power which is being dissipated by the primary coil is the same as the power which is being dissipated by the secondary coil. That's the implication. So now with this data in place, we can move on and <laughs> check out what they want us to determine. Okay, so the primary code dispatch 1.1 kilowatt. <laughs> All right, so we can indicate that. Primary power is equal to 1.1 kilo watt. Okay, so now what you need to know is kilo equates to 1,000. So we can simply uh, multiply by one. We can multiply this 1.1 1 .1 by 1,000, which will give us 1,100 watts. So primary power, let me write it here. Primary power is equal to 1,100 watts. All right. So we have all the pieces of information that we need in place before we actually begin to solve the problem. Now, what is it that they want us to determine? They're saying if the number of chains in the primary core is 400, they can say NP is equal to 400. How many chains are in the secondary coil? Just to give you a clue, in a step-up transformer, there are more chains in the secondary coil as compared to those in the primary coil. So if the primary coil has 400, we expect something more than 400 to be the number of chains in the secondary coil. So now what equation do you use to determine uh, the number of tens. So you say VP, uh, v, VS, that is the secondary voltage, the voltage across the secondary coil over the voltage across the primary coil, which is equal to number of tens in the secondary coil over number of tens on the primary coil. So when you have this equation, it's just a matter of you plugging in the values, okay? 
So you say VS, you come here and check. VS, that's 220. Over VP, that's 110. Which is equal to the number of turns on the secondary core is not known. That's what we are looking for. And the number of turns on the primary core is 400. So when you have two fractions separated by an equal sign, what you do is you simply cross multiply. So the 400 will be multiplied by 220. So when you multiply those two, what do you get? 400 times 220, that gives you 88,000. Which equal to 110 times NS, that gives us 110 NS. So since our interest is to find the number of tens in the secondary coil, we need to get rid of 110 by dividing it both sides of the equation. So 110, 110 out, and we have NS, which is equal to, so 88,000 divided by 110, that gives you 800. So we have found the number of tens here in the secondary core. So we have 800 tens. Okay, so now we can move on and uh, now work out this. They're saying how much current flows in the primary coil. Let me erase these others. Primary coil. Okay. So you need to know that power is actually given by voltage times current. So now we are focusing on the primary coil. We want to determine how much current flows is, is flowing in the primary coil. The power in the primary coil is equal to that. So when, when you look at what we had collected, primary power is equal to 1,100. So we can actually indicate that, substitute the P with 1,100, which is equal to, what's the voltage in the primary coil, across the primary coil? The voltage is 110. Okay, so we indicate it here. Then we have current P, which we are actually resolving here. Our interest is to find current in the uh, the, the current through the primary core. So divide 110 on both sides of the equation so that you remain with current this side. So this one and that one go. You can as well cancel out the zero and the zero there. The 11 there is one, 11 there is one, 11 into zero, that's zero. So we're gonna say, current through the primary core is equal to 10 amps. 10 amps. So we have actually determined here, the the current through the primary coil that is 10 amperes how about the current through the secondary coil uh, so this time around we're going to make use of that third equation that i had written beside so it's this one here let me circle let me circle that this one here if a transformer is 100% efficient, then primary power is equal to secondary power. But primary power has been given as 1,100. So we simply write that. Then this P, which is the secondary power, is given by voltage times current. So voltage secondary, current secondary. We can write them here, but I want you to see that uh, this voltage has been given. It's this one here. 
second order of water. So I will substitute V with the value to 20. Current hasn't been given, so I'm gonna not write it there. I'm gonna just write it the way it is. So now we get rid of a 220 by dividing it both sides of the equation. Now we have current secondary. I think this will give you a five. So we're gonna have uh, current, which will have the value of five umpires. You can prove that by actually punching that on the calculator. 1,100 divided by 220. That's truly a five. So friends, that's how we answer this question. Look forward to more vids that I'm yet to roll out. So for now, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you turn on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to post a video, you happen to be alerted. These are examination times, so you have to watch as many vids that are past paper-based for you to be fully set for an exam. Thank you so much.